this is Jen, and you're back with a little bit of everything. Thank you for tuning in, and tonight we are going to make a family favorite of mine. It is chicken and orzo salad. Now, this is a meal that doesn't take a lot of work, but it is key to the timing, okay? So, the first thing we are going to do is we're going to take 10 chicken thighs. We're going to dice them up into bite-sized pieces. I have one left on my cutting board. I'll show you what I mean by bite size. You take your chicken thigh, they're boneless and skinless. You spread it out. Now you're gonna go about an inch. You're gonna go down it through it lengthwise, okay? Now we're going to turn it sideways and each of these is gonna make two cuts, which is three pieces. One, two. And you get pieces that are just about that size. That's bite size. We're going to finish that last chicken breast up. We're going to put our cutting board over in the water, and then we are going to marinate it. Since we worked with raw chicken, we will be washing our hands, of course. We do not want to take cross-contamination and get our family sick. Okay, hands are washed and dried. Now, we also have a large stock pot set on the back burner. We're going to turn that on high and salt it. You're looking for probably about two tablespoons of salt in that water. Now, we have our chicken thighs right here, diced up and ready to go. To that, we are going to add about a half cup of olive oil. We are also going to add two heaping tablespoons of minced garlic, two heaping tablespoons of Italian seasoning mix, one teaspoon of onion powder, and we are going to salt and pepper that to taste. That is, for my family, that's about a teaspoon apiece. Salt. And pepper. We're gonna grab our handy tongs out of our drawer. We're going to mix this in and thoroughly coat every piece of chicken with the olive oil and seasoning. Right about there is what you're looking for. We're gonna set that aside, and in a separate skillet, we're gonna go ahead and start melting up some butter. I'm gonna use about a tablespoon of butter. We're gonna set that at a medium high heat. Our butter is melting nicely in our pan. We want to bring that up to a nice solid sizzle before we add any of the chicken. We are going to be adding the chicken in small batches. We don't want to overload our pan and bring the temperature down because then you'll get kind of soggy chicken. We want it crisp. We are also watching our pot on the back burner. We're waiting for that to come to a boil. And it's coming along nicely. Okay, when your butter starts to bubble like this, we're in the first stages. That means we got about a minute or two before it's time to throw the chicken in here. While we're waiting for that, let me actually show you what you guys, show you guys what orzo looks like. It looks like a very large, very fat grain of rice, but it is actually a fine pasta. So when we throw that in the pot to boil, we are going to have to keep it moving and keep stirring it because it can stick horrendously. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. And it looks like that our pot, our pan is just about ready for the first batch of chicken. All we want is about two scoopfuls, and that sizzle sounds nice. We're going to take those two, and we're going to keep them moving in the pan, spread them out so they get nice and warm. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and brown this chicken up batch by batch, and we'll be right back with you. Now, our first batch of chicken is getting to be nicely brown, if you'll look. We're gonna go ahead and pull that out of the pan, drain a little bit off of it, and throw it into the mixing bowl where we are going to be putting this salad together. I'm not draining a ton of the grease off of this because in this case, with this much pasta, the grease will add a lot of flavor and keep it from being dry. We're going to add our next batch of chicken into this into the frying pan. Remember, like I said, just two heaping scoops. You do not want to lower the heat on the pan or else you will not get crispy chicken on the outside. Our water in the back is really starting to get ready to boil. That will be ready probably about halfway through this batch of chicken. As I thought, halfway through the chicken, my water has started to boil. We're gonna go ahead and pour both boxes of orzo into the rapidly boiling water. You're gonna wanna stir that around immediately. As soon as you get it all in there, make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom. Now comes the multitasking part because we're going to continue to fry the chicken and stir the pot of water so that our orzo doesn't stick. When you stir the orzo, you're going to want to go ahead and scrape the bottom of the pot to make sure it's not sticking. Let that come back up to a full rolling boil. We are not turning it off of high. We want it to stay moving. The chicken is frying up nicely. And with this recipe, if you ever have any questions about whether or not a piece of chicken is done, all you have to do is take one of the bigger pieces in your frying pan, pull it to the side, and have it. Cut it in half. And if you look, it's just about done. The orzo is going to have to boil for about 7 to 10 minutes or until it's just perfectly al dente. You don't want to overcook it or else it will be mushy and it will take away from the texture of this dish. Now our last batch of chicken is in the frying pan. The orzo looks like it's just about ready to go. So I'm going to pull out a couple little pieces. Dump them on my cutting board and check them. Best way to check is always by two. Those are ready to go. We're going to turn our stove off. 
And we're going to take our pots over to the kitchen sink and drain these right now. You do not want to leave them in the hot water. They will stick and get mushy. There we go. We're going to go ahead and make sure that most of the excess water is drained up off of there. We're going to take this whole thing and we're going to go dump it in the mixing bowl where we've been putting our chicken. Make sure to get as much of it out as you can. Because like I keep saying, every little bit counts. We've got our orzo in our big mixing bowl with the chicken we've already got done. Now what I have here is two bags of frozen broccoli florets. They are, let's see, double check. They're two 12 ounce bags of frozen bro broccoli florets. We're going to dump them in here with this steaming hot orzo and the hot chicken. Now what's going to happen is the broccoli is going to cool this salad down and at the same time the hot ingredients are going to cook the broccoli for us. Stir it around and get the broccoli buried. Now we're going to leave this to set for a few minutes before we add the rest, the last few ingredients. Now we're going to finish a batch of chicken to our pot, our bowl. Wait. And if any of you have husbands like mine, guard the chicken. He loves coming in here and stealing these crunchy little bits of chicken before the salad's anywhere near ready. Okay, we now have the last of the chicken in there. We're gonna mix that around a bit. And to this, which we have our two pounds of orzo, our 10 chicken thighs, and our two bags two 12 ounce bags of broccoli. We are now gonna go ahead and add about a cup and a half, maybe even two cups of ranch. You're also going to add a cup of sharp cheddar already shredded. You're going to mix that around until the cheese and the ranch dressing is thoroughly incorporated into the whole thing. This is a dish that is great to serve a large starving family or even if you have leftovers, possibly take to a potluck. When you see that you've got every bit thoroughly coated and it has come together and it looks like this. Friends and viewers is chicken and orzo pasta. Please come back and watch another video soon. Bye!